Welcome to a first look at the game on the PS5 in performance mode. I've already briefly talked about the different graphical modes. I just kind of want to get into this. This is right from the very, very beginning here. Well, not the very, very beginning. I did kill two people and then they vanished. So I guess I can't get charged with killing them. And I am hopefully in for a nice treat whereby this is not going to be hopefully it's been conflicting as difficult as Elden Ring or some other Souls games because it keeps getting a lot of that comparison and I think it's because of the difficulty people people see like the targeting system with the white dot and with that red bar above and they automatically assume uh oh it's a Souls game oh I was like I thought my game freezed Hold triangle to charge and build up focus. Hold heavy attack to charge. Charging costs stamina, but quickly builds up focus. Okay. So I've held it up. Oh, I see. That's interesting. And then I pretty much one-shotted him and turned him into ashes. That's how hard I hit him. I hit him out of this plane of existence. Watch something come and, like, bite my face. Tiny piece of gold and some stone spirit. So there's some exploration. The idea is that this game is very, very linear. And honestly, for me, that might be a good thing. Because I, I get lost in games like Neo and not so much Elden Ring because it's open. But I just mean, like, the, the whole maze thing. And see, like, I almost walked past that person there. I don't even remember where I came from. But I think the... The dust particles going that way is essentially showing me where I should go. But that doesn't mean that I can't come here. And again, for this, what it is, is... Uh-oh. He didn't die in one hit. Shit balls. There we go. And because I, I went here, it looks like I can sneak on over here. And, and get lost. So yeah, it might be a very linear affair. And honestly, if it ends up being very linear... See, I'm just kind of showing you the map here. Honestly, this is the... Very, yeah, that is the absolute very beginning. Like, literally, right there is where I started. Okay, so that's what that did. And I came from... Where did I jump down from? Oh my goodness, you see what I'm saying? No, I remember coming up these stairs, but yeah. So I did that. I think there is some New Game Plus stuff as well. I don't know too much about the game, honestly. I wasn't even going to bother uh, buying the game because I, I'm just being honest. I was afraid that this was going to be another Neo another Elden Ring. I'm not good at those games. I absolutely suck at them. I'm oh, good at... What, what you waiting for? Pluck your hair and make an offer. Some stuff, but I can't be good at everything. And the Souls games, even though I appreciate them, I just... I can't hack them. So I'm afraid that I'm gonna waste my money in a way. I, the Keeper of Black Wind Mountain, have long been waiting for your arrival. Oh, his spitting image, I'd say. Looks like someone's got the M-Pox. Up ahead is Guan Yin Temple. Once it was bustling with worshippers. Before it was ruined by that fire. Ah. Then the temple was rebuilt. Oh, what good is it to rebuild a temple if the goodwill of men has been burnt to ashes? I have a bad feeling about this. Place, but they haven't forgotten you. 
I hope this isn't where I uninstall the game. Yeah, so there are some games that are just so incredibly difficult, and, and I give them a fair trial, a fair chance, and, and I just can't do it. So I, I uninstall the game. But I mainly bought this because I was curious, and I wanted to cover it on my channel. I wanted to be able to be one of those people that uh, you could come to see to watch some gameplay. The one thing that I do have sometimes on a lot of other people is the literal upload quality of my videos. They're going to be like 90 to 95 percent um, accurate to what you would see if the game was actually on your screen because of the special codec that I use for YouTube and the settings that I have in my in my OBS. Again, can I walk off of here? Oh. It looks like I might be able to. So that's one of the complaints, too. Is it's not really clear where or where you can't go. Uh, yeah. Anyways. Not going to stay that easy. See, I see you over there. I might not have my glasses on. But I see what you're doing. I don't know if I want to see what they're doing. Let's go off. No, nah, I don't know if I want to do that yet. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of want to explore a little bit too. Not that there's too much of a to-do. But I, I do want to be able to explore some. And then also showcase again the game. Which is the main number one point of any of these videos. Yeah, I gotta be careful with that. Magic mushroom. Purple exit. Whatever you want to call it. It looks like it might be obvious that I have to go there. However... Look at me, I'm all like, hmm, where do I go? Such a tough choice, because I could come down here too, but there's a big opening. And I have a nasty feeling that there's a, like a big boss or something around that corner. So I am... Gonna do this. And I'm gonna backtrack. Oh, I see what... Oh, well, well, I almost went to Paris. What the hell was that? I think I drank some of my thing I'm a bobber and I and I didn't I don't even know how I did that you can run pushing down the left analog stick or tapping R1 see again now there's like a little bit of exploration so yeah it's not open world What the hell is that thing? Should we do it? Are you with me? I hope this isn't a boss. My stamina. You gotta watch it. Kung Pao, bitch! No, I don't expect to be able to climb all the way up there. So far, performance is really good. And and it just looks nice. Now what I'm going to do do performance do a little balance. See what that's like. I've been hearing that it's like... Mm, it's not so good. Yeah, see, I can already feel it. I could feel that... 
sluggishness. Hmm, no. I'm gonna go straight on to quality. I mean, it looks a bit better. Yeah, see, when you look in the distance at the trees there, like right above my head, and you look beyond, and then you look at that rock right above my head there, and now the rock above my head there, which is to the right of that tree that's near my head, if you focus on that, and I go back to this again. Yeah, there's some lighting stuff there definitely uh, going on there. You know what? Let's just try quality. Yeah, I think there might be ray tracing. There's, there's definitely something there that makes it look nicer. However, the performance, in my opinion looks so good that whatever this is what i'm hoping a ps5 pro would do is allow quality mode games that perform at 30 fps to be 60 fps so to me it's still playable it's whether or not you want to bother with that like look at that shimmer of light as I'm like looking right there. So it's a good 30 FPS. It's a Red Dead Redemption 2 PS5 30 FPS good. And I know that might sound that might sound odd. However, I promise you it's pretty good. But there's no there's no denying that yeah i mean performance to me is the way to go or quality definitely not balance balance for those 10 seconds and earlier when i tried it on my own and i wasn't recording it, it did feel off this is not an ugly game i don't know what the hell people are tripping on over on the internet saying that performance mode looks ugly like some people need to lay off the glue Gee, I wonder what that could be. Oh, I just realized that this head made out of stone. Okay, so we can't go down there. Well, I don't know. He was able to go down there. Maybe I could have as well. Like, this is on performance mode. Look at that shit. Like, that's a visually... Stunning game right there. Like, just wow. But, uh, what do I know? What do I know? I want to check every nook and cranny, as I said. Oh, shit balls. Something tells me the rabbit isn't the boss. Is there like an alternate route that I can go to? There's no way this ends well. Oh, why did I buy this game? Oh, shit. I just have a bad feeling. I get like really itchy and stuff when I get antsy and... I just get worried that it's like I spent a bunch of money and it just ends up not working out. But I, I really do want to give this game a fair... a fair shot before I tap out. Oh, boy. Again, there's no... Yeah, well, that was stupid. Obviously, I have to move out of the way.
How do I drink? Oh, it is the L1 button. Okay. Yeah, that didn't work out good. It's all about timing, which I have none of. Yeah, I'm not defeating this boss on the first try. I do not got the marbles to do that. Oh, that's one of the skills you end up learning. It's been a while, but the immobilized spell still works like a charm. <laughs> Since you hail from Mount Huaguo, it won't hurt to teach you a handy trick. Now, here we go. Give me your hand. Yeah, a simple hand gesture that can bind enemies in place and it even works on bosses. I want to mention that the first boss that you fight in the beginning, you're not meant to win. It's just to kind of teach you the combat, and I like that because some other games definitely don't do that. They there just kind of throw you in and that's it. Should you come across any miscreants, just point your finger at them and release this spell. You'll be able to hold them in place while giving yourself a breather. Sadly, mine is but a humble trick. Its power will wear off within a few short moments. Though it's good enough against boneheads like this one. <laughs> anyway, just consider it an ace up your sleeve. No! The young ones these days know no manners! Fear not. Teach him a lesson with your new spell. I fucked up. But that was still cringe because I wasted all of my potions on him. But the fact that I did not die, honestly, for me, is a miracle. It, it just, it really is. I don't care how, how you look at it. I couldn't defeat the first boss in Wolong. I don't want to admit how many tries it took me to kill the first boss in Elden Ring. Like, I just do not do good at these games, and that's okay. Now I'm assuming there's something behind where I was, which is where I am going to go in just a moment. I just don't remember if this is where I already was, because that's how dumb I am. I think this is where I came from. Yeah, it is where I came from. And it means that somehow that one enemy... Yeah, now that I'm looking at it this way, this is the one where it's like, Oh yeah, I'll come over here and showcase the map. Yeah, that means that there were enemies that respawned in, in real time while I was here. At least I think. Yeah. Okay. Not too shabby. Uh-oh. Self-advance and sparks. Open the self-advance to awaken talents. Level up to gain sparks and awaken. 
More abilities and spells, sparks will not be lost upon resurrection. And that's a huge difference between a Souls game and this game is you, do, you don't lose your shit. So this might be the Souls light game that I've been looking for, maybe. I don't know what to do here. Uh, foundation, enhance your vigor, solidify your foundation, and strengthen your flexibility. Uh, acquire new stances, refine mastery with better focus, mysticism with the spells and ability. Yeah, uh, to be honest with you, I'm just not even going to touch this yet. I am just going to wait until I figure out after reading online, maybe what I think is best. Cause I don't know if you can reset your skills on a whim. I don't know any of that stuff. Cause I literally don't know anything about this game. I usually hate pushover enemies, but if there's only a few of them here and there, and then it just keeps leading you to like boss after boss, and they're somewhat doable for me at least, you hunting, you then that'll be okay for me. It'll almost be like filler uh, enemies if you want. But like in some games, like even Assassin's Creed, of all things, or The Witcher 3. You can have it so that if you scale it up and you put it on max difficulty. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can have it so that a common wolf will kick your ass. Ew. I like that. Right? Whereas in here. Now I got disoriented. Am I healing or losing health? Yeah, I'm losing health. Definitely not regaining it. Okay, so I'm going to die here. Ah! The bag is empty. That's okay. I don't lose anything when I die. And I'll get all my health back. So note to self, fuck them frogs. When you kill them, Move out of the way. This is this isn't a game where you parry either. Which could... you see what I'm saying? I don't die on the boss, but instead I die to some fucking frog a minute after the fact. Mm-hmm. Antidote pills can detoxify you. All right. What I'm going to do, I don't even know where I'm at, to be honest with you. What's this incense shit? Oh yeah, this I remember. You can rest, you can travel. Uh, I mean, that's where I just was. Take a rest. Fully restores your conditions, replenishes your gourd. Enemies will also respawn. Well, my gourd's full anyways now. I think when you die, it also it also does that. Relocate the sparks from awakened talents. I don't even know what that means. Oh, that's the self-advanced thing. Yeah, I'll take a look at that after, honestly. Right now, I don't even know which way I'm going. I think I know where I am. I think I'm at the like very beginning. As long as the boss doesn't respawn, because that that would suck. One shot, Biatch. Yeah, if that enemy comes back, fuck that. 
Ah, oh, for a second I thought I saw him. I was like, no. It, it's it's a statue of some sort. To be honest, I think for a first look at the game, that this is good enough. I think I'm going to want to do the rest on my own. Because as much as I love recording and all this kind of stuff, I also do enjoy getting to know a game without the distractions that come with flapping my gums 100 miles an hour. And honestly, even if I didn't talk, I would still get... Distracted. Just the mere fact of being on the camera is enough to do it. Come here, you little cretin. That's how you do that. Except if I walk in that, well, now it's gone. Yeah, I don't think I get hit by the poison by that point. Again, this is PS5. This is performance mode. I think the game looks fine, honestly. I really, I really do. I don't see anything wrong whatsoever. How long have I been recording? I got my screen way over there. 26 minutes. Yeah, that's good enough. Then looking at your gear here, at some point you are going to be able to examine it, change out some different weapons, and change the look and feel of your, your armor. So there is loot. It's just not like Neo and Wolong and stuff like that. You are using a two-handed staff, so it's like Sekiro in that way, which I did try, and I, un I uninstalled that too pretty quick, just, just being real. So yeah. Thumbs up, as always, if you did like the video. It does greatly help support that channel with the algorithm and trying to make me more relevant in the search results when people are looking shit up. And if you didn't like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. I'll bend it in half, I'll twist it, and I'll break this here staff off in your ass. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, I mean, naturally, that would be great. And if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, and remember, as far as I know, let me do that again. Yeah, as far as I know, you literally, like, lose nothing. Like, as far as I know, and from what I've read, you literally lose nothing for dying, except your time. And I think that's cool. I really, really do. Take care, and if I'm lucky, maybe I'll see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.